Hey everybody, this is Joel Runyon with Ultimate Paleo Guide. Today we're talking about how important is it that your meat is grass-fed. Now this is an important question because a lot of people get overwhelmed when starting out eating paleo. Oh, my food's not organic, uh, I can't get grass-fed meat wherever I am, um, or it's just too expensive, so I don't even want to try. And this is my opinion, but I think it's a pretty good consensus across the paleo community that grass-fed meat and buying organic food uh, falls into sort of the 20% optimization um, of your diet once you get the initial basics down. That's to say, don't worry about it when you're first starting out. It doesn't matter as much as making the initial uh, switch to the types of food you're eating. So if you're going from eating a standard American diet, you're going to see uh, leaps and bounds of improvements to be made uh, in just changing the types of food you're eating from you know, what the standard American eats to eating fruits, uh, vegetables, meats, nuts, and seeds. Uh, that transition is going to be more effective and more difficult when starting out um, than any of the other optimization you can do to your lifestyle or your diet. Now, say you're into that diet uh, four to six weeks, maybe a couple months, you start to get a rhythm, it's not so complicated, uh, you, you've got a couple go-to recipes that you're, you're just knocking out of the park, and you feel a little bit more comfortable. This is the time where you can start doing experiments, you can start trying new things, you can start kind of exploring different types of foods. And this is when I would start adding in or trying out uh, organic or grass-fed meat. Uh, now, grass-fed meat I would put actually as a, a higher priority than organic food. Um, grass-fed meat specifically uh, has different uh, fat ratios. So the omega-3, which are good fats, um, have a better ratio to omega-6, which are kind of the, the unhealthy fats. So in grass-fed meat, that ratio looks much closer to one-to-one. -one. Uh, it's much better for you. You're going to notice a, a, a little bit of difference down the road. Um, in grain-fed meat, which is pretty much typical fare at most grocery stores and most restaurants, uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna see uh, the same sort of fat ratio, and so you're gonna have higher uh, omega sixes than you are uh, omega threes. And most Americans already uh, tend to intake more omega six fats, which are unhealthy, cause inflammation, all that not so fun stuff. So. Uh, how important is it? I would say it's relatively important, which is kind of like a middle ground, but uh, I would say the most important thing first is getting your diet down, getting the types of foods uh, that you eat, getting your rhythm, and getting your system for eating paleo, you know, five to seven days out of the week down. Once you get that down, subbing in grass-fed meat instead of grain-fed meat is going to be much simpler. If you try to do the transitions all at once, it can be frustrating, it can seem overly expensive, and it can make you give up uh, you know, before you even get started. So I would say definitely start out, make the transition first, get a rhythm down, get a, get a process and get a system in place. And then once you do that, then substitute in grass-fed meat, try out different organics, and see how those all fit together in your budget and make your own plan tailored to you. So that's today's question. If you guys have more questions, leave them below. If you want to see more videos, check out uh, the subscribe button, click it, share it with a friend, and I'll see you next time.